hidden away on the DB01 is a secondary config menu. Now you get into the normal config menu, as you would know, by pressing shift and octave up. You get all the stuff, the version of the firmware, factory reset, calibrate, backup, tuning, volume, all these nice things. To get into the secondary config menu, you do basically the same thing. You go shift, octave up, but you hold the octave up, and now you press octave down. And this is the secondary config menu. Now it's odd because Erica Synth don't mention anything about it. There's nothing about it in the online manual. There's nothing about it in the latest printed manual. Every now and then they'll say something about it in a firmware update because progressively in firmware updates they have added things into this secondary menu. But it's odd because there's a couple of great little features in here. Anyway, we'll start at the right hand side here. The first one is serial number and you see as you press the buttons just like the normal config menu it will scroll through and tell you what it is so that's a help but this one is serial number so you press the button and it will scroll through and give you the serial number the next one is calibrate cv in now with another cv cable coming into the cv in i did get this to respond several times with a flashing plus and minus and it looked all very dramatic and certainly looked like some sort of calibration routine Exactly what it was doing, I don't know. And in fact, I can't even get it to do it again. Calibrate CV out is a little bit more obvious. Press and hold and you get either one or five for the CV default out. Mm, okay. Next one is MIDI instant program change. So if you're sending the baseline's command to change which pattern, which bank you want it to play. This will either allow you to have it instantly change or wait until well, the current pattern has finished playing. The only thing to know about this setting is that it won't survive a power cycle. That's a bug. Erica since knows about it and it will be addressed. Next one is MIDI note offset. Now this is either on or off. By default, it's on. It has to do with tightening up MIDI data. Someone more expert than I on the matter of MIDI note offset might help us all out by explaining it in the comments. Next is PBR, which is pitch bend range. So if you've got a controller this will set the default pitch bend range from 0 to 12. The very first one is default CV, and you might think that's to do with CV, but it's actually what the default note of the unit is. So if you're creating a new pattern and you go blop, 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 what note are you going to get as that default note? Well, usually it's 2C, but you can make it whatever you like. And this one, which I've skipped because I think it's the most interesting one, DGA, that's default gate length. If you press and hold, it goes from 10 up to 100. Now, the reason why this is so interesting is, let's just put it down to 10. And uh, when you change these things, if you're already in a pattern and you change, for example, the default gate length, it's not going to... Um, show immediately. You either need to save the pattern or go into a new pattern and now the new default values will be there. So if we just put in some little doers, so there's the default gate length at 10. If we go back into the secondary config menu, and as you remember, shift octave up, hold that, octave down. If we now go into that and change it to 100, and then we go into a new pattern, we do the same sort of thing, and then we play it. See how we're getting that nice sustain happening. So if you're the sort of person who wants those longer notes, wants sustaining notes, this might make a 
very good default setting. So that's the secondary config menu. It's definitely in firmware 1.08. The only feature that's not in 1.08 is the instant program change, but all the other ones are in there. And program change obviously is in version 1.10. So there it is. Until next time, see ya.